Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to January favorites and empties. I'm gonna bundle it all together because I wanted to talk a lot of, about a lot of things, but then I've already talked about it in my last two videos, which were my project pan update and my shop my stash. Because I use pretty much those things during the month, some of them are favorites, some of them not so much, but I, I put already a lot of my um, opinions in there. So I didn't think I wanted to repeat myself. Um, go check those out. There's a lot of mini reviews on things there. And uh, today I'm gonna instead talk about just a few favorites and go through my empties. So we hit two birds with one stone, something like that. Let's start with skincare. Um, waking up in the morning is tough. I wake up with very puffy eyes and especially my hood here, which I call it, but I have hooded eyes. And this part here of my eyes is really swollen in the morning and it's really, unflattering I think. Uh, it's difficult to put makeup on so that it looks good and um, yeah it should just depuff. What I've been using for that is the Ordinary Caffeine Solution. Now this is an eye serum and uh, it doesn't do really much anything more than depuffing to me. Um, I use literally one drop. It's quite viscous and dense jelly type of uh, consistency so one drop and then I pat it all uh, around my orbital bone as a serum right after cleansing and toning um, and it really works within five minutes I want to say I feel a uh, freshness around my eyes and I uh, feel uh, like the puffiness has gone down and it looks also much better so I was positively surprised because this didn't get the best reviews because people were expecting it to actually be a eye cream with some sort of anti-aging capabilities or long-term benefits but to me this really seems just a depuffer. So for me, for what I needed, is great. I use on top of this an eye cream, a hydrating eye cream um, and that's fine. This works. I was really surprised and I'm really happy uh, that it does. Then uh, I went skiing uh, in January and uh, one thing that I really, really was glad I brought with me and I, and I bought is this Vichy Ideal Soleil SPF 50 UVA and UVB um, and it's a stick hi uh, highlighter. <laughs> this is, uh, no, it's a stick SPF and uh, I would um, apply SPF in the morning before going skiing but then you're in the sun with the reflection from the snow for what, eight hours? That's a lot of time and um, I didn't want to bring cream with me to reapply. It's a bit weird to go to the, I don't know, it was a bit weird to bring a cream to reapply, but this was perfect. In between uh, when we would stop for coffee every couple of hours or lunch, I would just reapply this, um, make sure everything was covered. It is quite a creamy consistency. It's not that um, um, very hard stick. Uh, so it actually spread nicely. I used it on my husband. It has no fragrance So he wasn't bothered with that and we used it with two people and we're nowhere near um, Getting rid of the dome yet and there's a bunch left. So I'm really really happy about this I bought it on a whim and I am very happy about it Then moving on to makeup stuff you've already seen in my other videos maybe but I want to give a shout out to the elf blush palette. This is the dark version. The light version I decluttered uh, because it was too light for me but this has all my favorite shades uh, perfect for winter and uh, these two are perfect for any season actually. This is the dark version. Love it. Love 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 it. Um, great quality powders. I am very very impressed. Then for eyes an honorable mention to my Lethal Cosmetics eyeshadows. I uh, bought these um, with Black Friday and are, these are some of their uh, old uh, collections that they brought out a while ago and some of the new collection. I did a full review on my blog and I posted looks and, squat and swatches there as well as on my Instagram. You can read all about it there but I've been really liking them and they are very very impressive and uh, interesting shades. This green especially. Uh, Ooh, it could have looked really nice in my inner corner today. Let's see if I can. Ooh, okay. 
game changer. I think I like the eye look even better like this. Definitely, actually. This is for a challenge that it's either next week when you see this or this week when you see this. But yeah, I like it. Anyways, um, shout out to Lethal Cosmetics. Uh, they do great, great eyeshadows. And if I wasn't on a no buy and if shipping wasn't the price of one eyeshadow, I would um, probably order more. Then uh, again, an another shout out to my Project Pan lipstick. This is MAC Diva and as much as I own infinite shades of lipstick, this is a bomb. Um, it is one of those shades that suits my um, Armour Chromatic season, so my coloring especially. So that's why I love it so much and I'm so happy I'm using it now consistently. consistently. Um, but yeah, it's really, really good. Um, I'm very happy to pull, have pulled it back out because there's a lot of lipsticks that I just don't use because I have too many. That is something to think about, isn't it? <laughs> And those were my favorites for the month of January. Let's get into the empties. My trusty Sephora empties bag is here and I'll just start uh, fishing. First things first, uh, the Body Shop Pink Grapefruit Fresh Body Sorbet. Love this stuff, it's so lightweight on the skin. I am not repurchasing it until summer because these are also suited to be put in the fridge to refresh your body. I love this. I, uh, pink Grapefruit is my favorite line they do. I have their um, um, body wash. Now I'm using from this line the body lotion and I have the scrub. I love this line. It smells so good. Finished that one. Then I have a few ooh, masks. This is the Sephora Aloe Vera hand mask. You know I love these um, in general. It, I feel they really really help keep my cuticles and hands nice and hydrated. I use this my husband always thinks I'm a crazy person because I put a face mask on and then I put my hands in here and then I don't move for 20 minutes. Good thing is these are very full with serum so what I do is I put them on once and then I pull them off, put them back in this thing and I use them another time within uh, I'd say a few weeks because otherwise they dry out. But uh, yeah, really love this. I already bought uh, another one of these because I like having a hand mask always on hand. Hmm, lol. The one that flew away is this um, green tea milk one pack mask from I don't know. But I got it for free as a gift, uh, sample gift in my Yes Style order a while ago and I finally used it. There was quite a bit of it and it is a hydrating mask as if I can remember correctly. So I used it actually after skiing uh, when I came back. I just gave myself some time of rest and uh, masking and took a bath and all of those good things. And uh, this was a sheet mask. I put it on and then I refolded it and I put it on again a few days later um, to get two uses out of it. So sheet masks are, are going. I see um, wipes. These I mentioned multiple times. I only use them uh, to wipe off swatches or um, maybe I should actually find one and do it <laughs> from my hands. And these are from the supermarket in the Netherlands. I definitely recommend them. They're great. There's plenty inside. I don't remember. 50? 30? A ton. 25. Okay. Not that many. But it works great. Don't use them on your face. Don't use them on your face. Wipes are bad. Double cleanse. Always. Hair stuff. Um, I colored my hair in January. This is the hair color I use. Uh, Maggi Rouge in the shade 5.46. Don't take this color in consideration because it looks really weird. It's dark outside so I'm only using artificial lighting which is why I'm glowing so much I guess um, and my hair looks really dark. It's not that dark um, but anyways it's a nice coppery red on my same tone. Always use this one. Then uh, hair mask I finished is the Diva Curl Melt into Moisture Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask. And um, I like this especially because it says in the back you can use it overnight 
for uh, deep hydration and I uh, often like especially in the weekends if I sport in the morning to put in this overnight um, and wash it off after I sport the next day and uh, my hair feels really great I can't tell if it does anything more than any other mask to be honest but uh, it was a sample I found in a box in the US still and I'm glad I finished it I don't think I'm gonna repurchase because Diva Curl are um, very very expensive products I think um some skincare this is the ordinary bee oil this uh, is a blend of oils it looks green when you put it on your hands uh, uh, but it doesn't really look green uh, uh, on your face i didn't see it didn't do anything i don't know um either it was too light but i have oily skin so i i usually like lighter oils i used it as my last step um, of skincare in the evening i don't put a, a night cream i usually put this but it wasn't doing anything and my skin, I don't know, I felt like I needed more. I am now using the rosehip oil that I like much better. Um, I wouldn't recommend this one. No, no. Then, oh, I have something that's not mine. My husband finished his Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Um, maybe good for anyone viewing to know. He has very dry skin and he hates anything on it, anything uh, fragranced, anything too thick. And this one is, he likes, it's the only one he lets me buy for him. Um, he's not a cheap pal, no, -uh. but um, it's really nice. I use it when I, uh, uh, when I feel like my skin needs hydration or a night cream. Um, I used it with, uh, after skiing as well and uh, after retinols that are very heavy um, as well. So he uses one of these 50 ml tubs a year. <laughs> It's, I think it's opening uh, uh, time, what is it? Yeah, 12 months. He uses one in 12 months, that's about it, but he likes it. I finished a nail polish remover. This I get from the drugstore, I don't think you care. Um, I finished a brush cleanser. This one is from Hema, if you are in the Netherlands. Definitely a great spot cleaning blush, brush cleaner. I can't talk today. Um, yeah, I have two more that I already purchased. Then we have a bunch of minis down here. Oh, and more stuff. Lashes. Lashes. I think, I'm pretty sure, these are our Dell Dummy Wispies. They're done. I tried even one uh, because they were so done to color one with glitter and use it in a look, but I couldn't make it look decent. So these are done. I love them. I have a five pack ready to go. Then I finished a travel size, sample size of the Briogeo uh, Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. What to say about this? It doesn't cleanse to me. It doesn't do like enough. Also, I have a ton of hair. So before it reaches the scalp, half of it is gone. Um, I used it, I washed my hair in the shower and then put this on my roots, massaged it in, and then a hair mask on my ends, and then I stepped in the bath. Yes, I'm high maintenance, I know. But I don't like to wash my hair in the bath because then the water is dirty and then I'm gonna soak in it for 20 minutes. I rather wash my hair and rinse my body in the shower than get out and get into the bath. And there I can soak, do my hair mask, do my face mask, and then scrub and wash myself and get out. Um, anyway, now that you know my bathing routine, um, I use this up. I wouldn't repurchase, I didn't get the point. I don't know if I will ever get the point of, of uh, scalp scrubs, exfoliating shampoos. I have too much hair, it doesn't reach my scalp at all usually. Then uh, you might have known that this was coming if you saw my project pan update. This is the Nabla close-up concealer. I can't get anything out anymore and I know there's stuff down here but I can't get the stopper out. I tried with tweezers, I tried with my teeth, disgusting. I tried with pliers. It's, it breaks before it pulls out so I don't know if it's mine. Maybe I should heat it. Maybe I should heat it. But heat expands, doesn't constrict. Maybe I should freeze it. I'm not sure. Point being, I moved on. <laughs> it's finished to me, um, I moved on. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually see-through here where I scraped the sides with a wand. 
Um, it was okay. I moved on to better ones. I talk about it in my project pan update. Oh, here I have another lash. Then probably those two were also here. This is a single lash. I think this was a different one. Or even this one is a Ardell WSP. But from this one, I actually pulled off, while cleaning it, I think, I pulled off a few hairs on the inner corner and now it's too short and too long. It's, I don't know, weird. And I'm just getting rid of it. It's done. And then samples here, I have the Claire's Supple Preparation Facial Toner. I brought this with me to Italy to ski because it's a um, soothing, hydrating toner versus the toners I have, which are usually either oil control, balancing things or uh, acids. So I thought I'd bring something very, very soft and hydrating for when I went skiing because the conditions were very, very harsh, of course. And then same idea with the Paula's Choice Skin Recovery Enriched Calming Toner for normal and dry skin. From Paula's Choice, the website, you can get the whole um, skincare routine for your skin type or their line, their whole line, in little sachets for like three euros, I think. And then you get a cleanser, toner, a day cream and a serum or two four or five sachets I think in there and I always have uh, one of the skin balancing line which is my favorite line and the one that suits my skin the best um, but I also had one of these um, dry skin ones I want to say it was gifted or it was part of the samples that were gifted I'm not sure but I'm very happy because I brought this and the day cream with SPS, SPF 50 to ski unfortunately the cleaning lady of the hotel thought it was finished and trashed it whereas I always save them I used it one time and then I use it again the next day and the next day so I got to use the day cream only once and it was already gone but I really liked it for what it was I wasn't concerned with my skin getting oily so I wouldn't know how it would work on a daily but um, yeah really liked this line and uh, the cleanser I didn't use but that's because I brought my big cleanser with me so you guys, we went through all of my empties, we went through my favorites. I hope this was mildly entertaining. I hope this was mildly entertaining. I know these are more check-ins and admin type videos, but I like to do them and they're also the ones I like to watch because you get mini reviews of everything. So I hope you think the same. Let me know down below actually if there's anything specific you want me to review because um, now that the admin is all out of the way um, I'd like to get into reviewing products again and I don't know what you guys want to see the Colourpop new shadows the Mulak cosmetic palettes maybe or I don't know let me know I know there's a lot of things uh, we like to talk about on our stories and uh, Instagram but maybe something I can actually make a video on anyways I hope you guys enjoyed give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not already the huge I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!